Thank you for joining our webinar today. Our topic is leveling up your reporting capabilities with Jamf. We'll help you take your dashboards from 0 to 100 real quick, creating visibility and visuals for yourself, your team, and other stakeholders within your organization. My name is Kyle Kazendek, and I am a developer on our research team. My name is Sam, and I'm a Solution Partner Manager at Jamf. Our agenda today starts with tips to building great dashboards in any system before diving into a few key areas. We'll talk about the dashboards you can make directly in Jamf Pro and some additional functionality that our premium cloud customers have access to. Then we'll dive into Jamf's integrations with three third-party products, Splunk, Power BI, and Numerics. For those of you new to Jamf or exploring new Jamf products, we wanted to start with a quick overview of the company and the products that we offer to help organizations succeed with Apple. Since 2002, Jamf has helped scale Apple deployments worldwide in ways that empower end users to do their best work on macOS, iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS. Jamf goes beyond management to fill the gap between what Apple offers and what the enterprise requires ensuring efficiency for IT as well as security and compliance, all without impacting the end user experience. We provide value beyond mobile device management, giving you the ability to seamlessly connect your users to the resources they need while protecting the devices and the data that they access. The concept of reporting applies to most Jamf products, but today we're going to focus on Jamf Pro and Jamf Protect. Pro is our flagship mobile device management solution that businesses and schools rely on to deploy and configure Apple devices at scale. Jamf Protect is an endpoint protection tool built exclusively for macOS that leverages native frameworks to provide security and logging capabilities to security conscious organizations. As Apple device deployments grow and organizations require a higher level of visibility into the specifics of their fleets, our customers are looking for more ways to view and consume data about their Apple devices. It's important to have this data available, accurate, and automatically integrated to other systems and processes that drive your organization forward, as well as keep it safe. As IT administrators take on more responsibility and look after critical company resources, there's more data available than there is time to ingest it. And at this point, it's no longer feasible to go to every single tool in your IT stack to manually pull data and information. For that reason, reporting and business intelligence tools have found a home with IT administrators that need to keep a pulse on their wide environments. The nice thing about reporting and visuals done well is it's easy to quickly assess progress over time or see important red flags in your environment. Some people consume daily reports while others dedicate monitors and displays to this in their network operation centers. All dashboards are different, but they all serve a common purpose, telling a quick, concise story that can help an admin make an informed decision. Ultimately, when you are building a dashboard, report, or even just a simple visualization, you need to figure out what you're trying to answer. Too many times I have logged into a Jamf Pro, a Domo, a Splunk, or Power BI, and have found it just overflowing with visuals that didn't help the person make a decision. To help with this, I always ask myself these five questions before I begin. Who is going to be viewing this? What is their question? Where am I going to get all the data? And how best to show it? And finally, how often will this get asked? One key thing is to recognize that many visualizations and reports may be ephemeral and only contextually important for a narrow time window. An example of this would be the number of computers vulnerable to a specific CVE. The service will likely get patched over a short time window, but then after that happens, the data just isn't of importance any longer. I also suggest as a best practice to isolate the visual and reports to only the people that will need that data to make a decision, and it's best to have this information at the time it is of importance and no longer after that. To start our reporting journey, Let's explore Jamf Pro's built-in dashboards and reporting tools. Jamf Pro 10.0 introduced dashboards, and this is the first thing that administrators see when they log into Jamf Pro. With just a few clicks, admins can add visuals to the dashboard that represent important pieces of information about their Apple devices. One example of this is a smart group. Smart groups are collections of devices that have any particular attribute. In this example, we are showing how many computers have AppleCare that expires in 30 days or less. 
We can also see graphs about our policy statuses. This is vital to track the rollout of new software or security controls like FileVault. And more than looking pretty, these graphs can be clicked on to quickly take you to a list of devices that for whatever reason haven't picked up their latest changes. Two other related features worth knowing about are notification on smart group change and automated reporting. Not only can Jamf Pro sort devices into groups automatically based on their inventory with smart groups, it can proactively email an IT administrator to make them aware of any changes. Whether that's smart status of a hard drive or file vault encryption status, Jamf Pro can send an email letting the administrator take care of the issue as soon as they check their email. And automated reporting can help check that box for a department that just wants their trusty old monthly report in a CSV. Jamf Pro can automatically send emails containing specific reports, keeping the number of admins in Jamf Pro to a minimum, but making sure everyone can benefit from the data within the system. Before we jump into third-party reporting integrations, I want to answer what will probably be the most requested question in the Q&A. Cloud access and change management logs. If you are a cloud premium customer, we have the ability to stream these logs to two locations, a shared S3 bucket where you can interact with them as a regular file, or you can stream it to the HTTP event collector built into Splunk. Both of these require manual configuration of your instance, so please contact your sales or customer success engineer to work out the details. Now that we've seen Jamf's built-in reporting capabilities, we're going to talk about three third-party solutions that integrate with Jamf Pro to provide enhanced reporting that's even further customized to your needs and easily integrated with other data sets important to the overall health of your environment. We will be giving overviews of these solutions, but we will end with links to specific resources that will help you get up and running on the tool of your choice in just minutes. At JNUC last year, we released the Jamf Pro integration for Splunk. Since then, we have continued to develop it and now have the ability to also stream protect logs access logs, and other data sets directly to Splunk. Splunk is one of the largest SIM platforms and is often used for combining data sets from multiple sources to provide a holistic view of your enterprise. Our Splunk integration is one of the most flexible ones we are presenting today. We can collect the vast majority of your Jamf Pro instances data directly to Splunk for long-term storage. Further, with the use of advanced computer, mobile device, or user searches, you can hone down to collect only the data you want to also prevent the exposure of PII or GDPR fields to your SIM platform. Splunk's native search language also gives you the great flexibility to build the visualizations, reports, and alerts that best suit your organizational needs. For examples of actual user dashboards, please jump over to our Jamf Nation post titled Show Off Your Reporting Dashboard to get inspiration for what you can build and help in finding out how. At this present moment, the only external SIM platform that our Protect service can stream events to is Splunk. This integration relies on Splunk's secure HEC collector, attached to an example dashboard from Splunk for a Protect instance. You can use the serial number of the device in Splunk to correlate the data between Jamf Pro and Jamf Protect. You can also use the device's UDID, MAC address, and their IP addresses to quickly correlate Protect events and Pro events with other platforms such as Cisco, domain controllers, DHCP logs, or just about any other source of SIM logs. Our Splunk integration gives you amazing insight and control of your environment. You can build the automated responses around these events, and these services are a critical component to many organizations' compliance and management plans. Also at JNUC 2019, we released the Power BI Connector, and in February of 2020, it shipped natively to every Power BI desktop and was also natively integrated into the Power BI Cloud service. If you have ever built a visualization in Excel, you will feel right at home with this service. It is incredibly intuitive, and you can build native integrations into Flows, Office 365, and SharePoint. This can quickly automate the decision-making process in your organization. The most powerful tool in Power BI is the Ask a Question feature. The native AI and ML tools can quickly provide you the tools to organically answer the questions you have about your environment. In our recording series of Power BI on our YouTube, you can see this in action. Some of the largest customers of Jamf rely on this to assist their business intelligence goals. And we are continuing to develop this with the goal of making it full app source compliant. One of the coolest use cases I have actually heard from this integration 
was using it to track the current number of available MacBooks and automating the ordering process for replacements by alerting the IT organization and generating the relevant PO requests to be forwarded for approval before sending to Apple. The last third-party tool that we're going to look at is a bit of a departure from the first two. While Splunk and Power BI hold long-term legacy in the reporting field, Numerics is a powerful KPI and dashboarding platform by Synapse, built exclusively for Apple devices. Numerics is available as an app for iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS. The intuitive interface and pre-built integrations allow an administrator to create powerful dashboards in just seconds. Numerics is secure by design and is built in a serverless fashion, so your data is securely stored on your Apple device. And the ease of use of Numerics can't be overstressed. The pre-built widgets make it just as easy to add a Jamf Pro visual as a Salesforce visual. And for systems not available as a pre-built template, Numerics supports files and JSON as sources for visuals. Deep integration with iOS like Siri and features like watchOS support make Numerics an easy to use tool that keeps your important numbers right at your fingertips. But don't let the ease of use fool you. Numerics is a surprisingly robust tool that integrates with both Jamf Pro and Jamf School. And you can download it on the App Store today to try it out. As I mentioned in the beginning of the webinar, it would be impossible to show you how to set up all three of these tools live on the webinar, but we've made it incredibly easy to get started. Our Jamf Pro Reporting Solution series on YouTube has step-by-step -step instructions for all three of the third-party solutions that we spoke about today. We have them broken down in easy-to-use segments that start with integration and end in a beautifully created dashboard that helps drive decisions within your organization and backs up your ideas with data. As more tools add integration with Jamf products, you can expect to see them featured here. You can navigate there by going to jamf.it slash reporting. After you create your first dashboard, we'd love to see it. There's a thread on Jamf Nation where IT administrators are posting sanitized versions of their dashboards. You can show yours off or use it for inspiration for your own dashboard. Again, this is an evolving resource, so please check it out frequently. You can navigate there by going to jamf.it slash dashboards. While we only covered three today, Dashboards and reporting tools are some of the most popular integrations with Jamf Pro. To find out more information about all of these third-party tools or about other integrations with Jamf Pro, including other BI tools, make sure to check the Jamf Marketplace. The Marketplace is where we feature Jamf integrations that add to and extend your Jamf experience. Do you have a favorite BI or reporting tool that doesn't integrate with Jamf products yet? No worries, we'd love to help them. Jamf's Solution Partner Program is designed for organizations that want to build against Jamf's developer tools. It's free to join and includes all the resources needed to build Jamf integrations. Please have your ISVs visit jamf.it slash solution dash partner to get started. We covered a lot of information today. And again, this webinar will be emailed directly to you and available on Jamf's YouTube page. But let's quick recap the information that we discussed. We discussed IT reporting basics, as well as tips and tricks to help make great dashboards in any system. We looked at Jamf Pro's built-in reporting capabilities, as well as Jamf's new log streaming capabilities for premium cloud. We also looked at integrations with three third-party products, Splunk, Power BI, and Numerics. Again, please remember that resources to help you set up all three of these integrations are available at jamf.it slash reporting. Thanks for tuning in today, and we hope that what you heard was helpful. We'll email you this recording as soon as it's available. But if you'd like to get started with Jamf today, just scan the QR code on your screen to get in touch with us. And if you still have questions, please reach out directly to info at jamf.com to get the answers that you need.